Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Diamond Rope with Two Goodbye Despair. You guys hit 50k likes on the last video ASAP. Like, you guys hit that thing quick. Just like Thikakuya got hit with that knife real quick. We're about to figure out who killed him right now. 50,000 likes and I'll release the next video as soon as I can. I do think it's Teru Teru though. I think it's him because he was in the kitchen when the blackout happened. And then he somehow made it into the area where everybody was. We're going to see how we're going to get him right now. If he gets cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. All right, trial is back in session. Hey, Mona, me. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. All right, that's too much information. The group's leader, Biakuya, got killed. Biakuya, not Biakuya. And killer is among this Stop group of nonsense. students? No, I'm not going to believe it. Biakuya. I'll never believe it. Because I believe in everyone. I really hate Monami. So do your best. I just want more and despair. don't forget to save regularly. How about you save your speech and shut your mouth? Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive... I'm really liking this version of Nagito, too. Like, that's my guy. Shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You, I think I just like you were being shoved evil, away, and I like evil. You can't actually prove just, it, right? I'm just so damn evil. That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another so reason dry. why nah, I don't nah, nah, think nah, nah, nah. Nagito is the killer. I don't either. There's still more? Oh yeah, still we're about to fry you. Discussed. Frying pan. Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? What if that's his execution? He gets it's fried true. because it's he did it. True. So it's a I cooking execution, and then he just gets cooked. Nobody's that's gotta be complimented it. me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. I bet you he'll get chopped up into tiny little pieces and then get fried with butter. Mondo butter. Imagine. <laughs> Why does Mikan think Nagito looks clean? Because Nagito isn't injured, because there's no blood on Nagito, because Nagito doesn't have any dust on him, because Nagito doesn't have the knife. Because there's no blood on Nagito. I see. Because there's a lot of blood on Thikakuya, but no blood on Nagito. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes, th that's it. Yeah, look, Thikakuya surrounded in a pool of blood. The table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere. Right? See. There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. Mm hmm. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> the one thing that I don't get about Nagito is why does he want to be the killer? You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Like, why is he confessing something to something that, that he might obviously have been didn't used do? To block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? I mean, a lot of you have probably already seen this, so you know the reasoning why he's doing what he's doing, but I just want to know why he's so goddamn evil! Yes, there's only one thing he could have used to block the blood splatter. Oh, that one tablecloth that was right there. I can't believe that picture's all up in my face. Storage room tablecloth, there we go. Take that! I can prove it with this! Oh, wait, wrong game. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen it? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Yeah, where are you gonna stuff it? Under your shirt? Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Uh-huh. Then, what does it mean? It means you're guilty, you rat bastard! Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth is bloody. So, there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! The place where Byakuya... Whoa, did I just call him that? The place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different? Huh? Almost called him by his actual name. You look like you're on to something. Oh, silly me! Really? Uh-oh, my guy's getting nervous. Like 
A lot of the women in this game have soft-spoken voices. In scenes where you have to figure out important words, the improved Hangman's Gambit will occur. Okay, I'm gonna read that, then let's get right into the Hangman's Gambit, and I'm about to spank that like this, like, BOW! BOW 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 BOW! Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something! Imagine saying that out loud in the trial, everybody's just looking at you like, uh, what? Yo, put down the crack pipe, my guy. Okay, it's under the what? Is that floor? F-L-O-O-R, okay. Okay, O, O, got that, and then R, and are you freaking kidding me? That took me forever. Under the floor. Look at that. Look at my health bar. I was on life floor, baby. I was like, whew. I need some more of this. The killer must have stabbed Yakia from under the floorboards. Yeah. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. Mm -hmm. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakuya to death. That's precision stabbing, though. Like, you gotta be a sniper with so, a knife. That a sniper? You gotta be a sniper. Under the okay, floorboards. Wait. How? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling. Someone here who does Uh-oh. That's right. If I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. Wait, does Teru Teru know? He don't know. Does he know? I don't think he does. I think she was under there, and then the Gundam guy was under there, right? You're the only one! <laughs> You're the only one! It's you! Hey, Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound earring? Yes, the very same. That I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? First of all, calm down with that attitude. About Second that of all, Hellhound everybody relax. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? I'm not accusing him. I just told him that he's the only one who knows how to get under the floorboard. Ah, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through the opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. Cat. However, Cat. it's just as the old legends say. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! I mean, it doesn't look very good on you, but sure. Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could you be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began... Huh, didn't even notice that. That means Gundam was able to retrieve his hearing from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. <laughs> With the power of my four dark demons of destruction, it is of no concern. Form. True. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye. All oh, did he send his hamster to get the earring for him? What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. No! Man up and speak more clearly. Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Huh. Okay, this is new information. Aww. Look at her here. One She's of my so four cute. dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen <laughs> beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. Okay, well, that's new information that we didn't know before. After securing what is that one hamster from doing, the though? supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the hell earring with my own two hands 
<laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. Okay, with that new information and now looking at where everybody was right before the blackout, I think this is what happened. I think that Teru Teru, before everything happened, left the kitchen, went in the storage room, turned on all the irons right before, I think it was 11.30, that's when the AC thing kicks in. He turned it on right before then. All of the power happening at one time made everything just go black like that. Once it blacked out, he went under the floorboards and then he stabbed Biakuya under the table. But how did he know where he was? Was he even going for Biakuya? Or was he just going for the first person that he saw? Because how did he end up stabbing Biakuya under the floorboards if Biakuya was under the table with Nagito? Hold on. Hmm. Okay, I still think it's Teru Teru, but I'm wondering why he picked Biakuya. Or if it was just kind of random. He just started stabbing. Let's figure it out. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? You don't like Gee, stab, are you stab, sure? stab? She would sound more sus. fleshy, like... <laughs> yeah, just like us. <laughs> that kind of sound. I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? Hey, stop making yourself look even more sus. You were the only one not in the room at the time before the blackout. So, well, besides Pekko and Fuyuhiko and who else? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I yeah, was you weren't in the there. Entrance, remember? Yuhiko. Monomi over there can be my witness. Um, the girl with right? the sword on her back. Yes, this Monomi over here is your witness. I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. Yup, she had them Taco Bell shits. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Who says he didn't make a pit stop right before he went back into the kitchen to get another dish? Um, person who wasn't at the party. Now they're gonna blame the Yakuza guy. Judging from the photo I took before the blackout. This game definitely is like Among Us. It obviously has to be him. Yay! It's decided! There's no evidence against him. What the him. fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, this really is Among Us. What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it. <laughs> Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news. You are now allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silencer with the right mouse button as many times as you want. When you use the silencer, you can shoot down the white noise. Also, when you shoot down the white noise, your time limit will increase a little. Okay, we know about the silencer. We know all about that thing. Now we just gotta silence these fools because I know who it is. I'm on the right track. Now that we know that you can go under the floor from the storage room, it's a wrap. Like, it's a wrap! During the party, the killer. Wait, hold on. Before we do anything, what's Chiaki's account again? I keep forgetting who Chiaki even is. Okay, Chiaki's account. When Chiaki was standing guard outside, Fuyuhiko apparently came to the old building, then walked away. And then Kazuichi's account, during the search for Biakuya after the blackout, Kazuichi headed straight to the office. He didn't see anyone there, including Peko. And then Nekumaru's account is, he kept trying to use the bathroom since before the party started, but someone was using it the whole time. I already used his account, so I don't think it's Without him. going to the storage room in the dark. Wait, Chiaki's account does have Fuyuhiko's alibi. It says Fuyuhiko apparently came to the old building, then walked away. Okay, so that's what it is. So I gotta go to Chiaki's accounts, and then we just gotta go to the alibi part. Because watch this. And ba-bam! Give me some of that! Making the right choices, guys. Got that fat brain energy. No, Fuyuhiko Big fat brain. has an alibi. Isn't that right? Chia um, oh, you're right. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? 
Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Eh, <sighs> how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. Yeah, you dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? <sighs> Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. Maybe he's kind of a spy. This boy. What'd you say, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the No shit! Come on! Uh, Why is everybody acting so dumb? The blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make Eggs Benedict without any eggs. Hey, I kind of like Eggs Benedict. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But what about when you're outside? Maybe you can see the light. You know, the moonlight? So it gives you a little bit of light? But is it really I don't know. impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Yeah, but what if you're already in the storage room before the blackout happened? But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again... It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Whoa. Already? Make your argument. Okay, Duraloom case, Party Edition's Fire Door, Murder Threat. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see what everybody has to say, and then we'll figure out which bullet we need to lock in. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Yeah. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Okay. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Oh. Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Okay, I gotta agree with somebody's okay, statement. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? Used a light. It definitely sounds impossible. Come on. Okay. The killer's method for moving in the dark might be what that one person suggested. If so, I might be able to prove it. Okay, it might be a Kane statement then. The um, let me see. Moving to the storage kitchen room equipment like list? Hold on. Let me see what the kitchen equipment list was. Because if it's something good, then maybe they use something there. The knife found at the crime scene was not included on the kitchen's equipment list. All the dangerous equipment that could be a potential weapon was confiscated by Biakuya. Apparently there's an iron plate for barbecue and a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Huh. That might be it. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. He might have put some light from the fire on the portable it's hot really pots. Not possible. I don't know. Let me just try that. What if they used a stupid? Maybe but maybe let's just try it. Maybe I'm, gonna, what if maybe they I'm used right. A light? Yeah. Boom. What? I agree with that. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say it said minus something. What a freaking say! I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh. Oh. Don't put I was it like right. that. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See. It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. What did I tell you? Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? Ah, yeah. The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. Yeah, you can have a little flame, which will give you light. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the black. Ah, uh, yeah! I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. There's a hole in your argument, pinche puta. Huh? A hole. What kind of hole? Ew. It would be great if you could explain. We're putting up two fingers saying what kind of hole. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really right. not a perverted joke. I'm right, right. serious. I gotta restart the camera. Repeating yourself just makes it even more I... suspicious. Now then, Hajime. 
Will you battle against me? What? No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Don't you figure wag no that's wrong me? Alright, man. Will you be able to play okay, last dude in this place? What does he mean, battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it, there's no way I'm gonna lose against someone like him. Hell nah. Let's go, Hajime. Rebuttal showdown. Night vision goggles, storage room. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Okay, kitchen equipment list. Let's go. Fight me. Did you forget what Kazuichi said? Fight me, said asshole. Here? Oh, 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 I said the hall was too dark to see boy. the office. Let's go, boy. Light from the stove. Stop playing with me. It contradicts. Come on, get a scratch at that. Why are you intentionally bow, bow, bow. doubting these tests? Come, Come on, asshole. Yup, we advance. I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi I don't know how I feel about this office. battle thing. Whoops, whoops, my fault. It's because the hallway was dark. So if the light was shining in such whoops, a dark hallway, I should have fired something at that. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Kazuichi. After all, he was walking Wait. near the hallway, right? Wait, fire door. Is that what it is? It's true that any light source in the dark hallway would have stood out. So if the killer did have a light, the reason Kazuichi wasn't able the to see it Kazuichi couldn't see because was the it because the fire door? So if the light was shining right there. In such a dark hallway. Ooh, what? Such meager hope. There's no way I can let you win. Crap! Damn it! It looks like I screwed up. I need to think about this again. The reason Kazuichi was because yeah, the hallway was fire dark. Door. So if the light was shining Hold in on. such a dark hallway. Yeah. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Right there. Fire door? Thank oh, you! Through those words. Give me that! Damn on that dude! Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? The ladder. Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Okay, cool. I see. I actually noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Now, who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. I think he's just a big instigator. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us I don't off. think he can go How back to be nice after this. Mouth for you? I think he just got to go full blown asshole. Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer. Not an imposter like me to show themselves. Oh, that works. <laughs> like if you killed Biakuya, raise killer, your hand, right? please. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion. So does Nagito know who the killer at, is? I will accept it, no matter what it is. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Biakuya to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is... Well, we know who it is. You and only you! Yeah, come on, give me some. Give me some of that. Where you at, shorty? Oh, yeah, you're right over here, bitch! You're give me that! Could it be you? <laughs> Terry Terry's the killer? Is that true? It's true. What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have that's what I sound like when I'm the imposter in Among Us. Objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cool! Cruel. Too cruel. Uh, Terry. That attitude is so not like. I guess when people lie, they start acting different. The ultimate cook to get so upset. He's about to get the ultimate cook. Call me shut. You fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? 
the future of the culinary arts. That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must he really face is an instigator. And fight it fair and square. He loves the evilness, and I'm here for it. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. I really do not like Kyoko. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? Then they killed. It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Byaku? That's the part I was asking you guys earlier. Like, did he know Byakuya would be there? Or did he just stab randomly and got somebody? You're not going to say they shine the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. Why don't we take a break from the trial and all go under the floorboards so we can figure out what's actually under there? No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. Or we could just take his word for it. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! Seriously. If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark? What was that mark? Hold on, wait. Is it something that Viakuya had when he was eating? Hold on, let me see. Party dishes. Territorial poured his heart and soul into cooking various party dishes. However, Akane and Peko were the only ones who ate them. Okay. Wait, what? I didn't mean to select that. My bad. Is it this? A knife? I can prove it with this. That's the only thing that was glowing, right? The glowing paint? The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. Okay. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. That's actually kind of stupid, but okay. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's pretty ridiculous. That's why Byakuya got killed. Like, even for someone knife. like me that loves ridiculous, that's pretty ridiculous. But if they were able to do that... Wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Uh, oh. Seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean you went to the storage room during the blackout. That doesn't mean he went during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Teru's voice in the dining hall? Yeah. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! Maybe he was talking from under the floorboards? But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? Exactly. I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. But how did you know where the dining hall was when it was pitch black and you had no idea where you were going? Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed right. to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Okay, I don't believe the cap. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by making this. So, if you want, you should try making me. Can we just... No way! Stop! You look greasy! But 
I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. Maybe he flicked the irons and waited until 11.30 till the blackout but was already under the floorboards by then. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to be falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Okay, I think I know exactly what to say. Make your argument. Knife, blood center under the table, gaps in floorboard, night vision goggles, Durlum case. Okay, let's see what the choices are. Let me ask this you. This is a long first case. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. Hmm. I definitely heard Taro Taro's voice. Yeah. It's handsome, unlike his face. Ew. Maybe it was recording or something? Maybe he was already there. Nope, definitely a live voice. Okay. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Hmm. That's the one I gotta dispute. But I just don't know which one to use yet. There's definitely a contradiction hidden within those remarks. I need to find it. Okay. Let me ask you What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Did you go to the no storage idea. room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. He was in the gaps in the floorboard. That's what it was. That's got to be what it is. Maybe it was the court. No, okay, definitely hold on. As long as Let's the go to that last statement. Boom! I'll shoot through that contradiction. Yes. Yes, you will. Just because we heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the exactly. voices in the dining hall. Exactly. I'm putting chapstick because I'm tired of this dude's cat. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make a speech he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? No, he can't. I told you to wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. What the? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Ayuyama. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> this is a major liar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell was that? If Terry Terry was in the back there, he should have been there after the party. Bro, can I get some more of that? Well, I believe so. There's no way. Bro, he really is the ultimate chef because he's serving me right now and I'm eating it up. Huh? Was Terry Terry? Hey, let him let him talk one more time. I sure was. I was there the whole time. Something like this should be decided by gut instinct. What the hell is this, bro? Damn right, you guys should have been decided this on the spot with your hazel metal leaf. That makes it even worse. He's definitely lying. <laughs> However, I am not I can't, sure. Yo, I, can't I believe that he was there. And I believe. No. Is there any way we can decide? I kind of just want to skip everybody talking so I can hear his voice. Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that. Don't make no sense. <laughs> can you even prove I wasn't in the dining hall? <laughs> Probably can. Oh, you again. What is happening? Who is this guy? Whether or not Terra Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout. In order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. What the heck? What's the question? Did you kill him? Or what kind of accent was that? Hold on. Let's see. Um... Is it the murder threat? Did he write that? Nope. No, even if I ask him about this, I can't corner him with it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> embarrassing pose? I can prove it Oh, with this. wow. It was embarrassing pose, but if why? you claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Right. Why? Because, oh, because he's a perv and she was in a very weird position? Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember. 
so that really was an important thing for the case. I thought it was just some stupid now, stuff. This is a very important question. Well, Terry Town, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should I know believe the answer that was the to answer. that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my it was god, bro! There's no way you'd forget about it. You so know what? Easy. I'm not even gonna censor it. Fine, go ahead. See that whole plate of meatballs, octopus, and eggs, whatever. I don't care anymore. Go ahead, look at it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Hey, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I said that wrong. Ha! How about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um. Um, uh, uh, that's weird. Just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, Nagito, say something. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. <laughs> I'm disappointed too. Nagito you know. acts like a final boss. I'm here for it. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this <laughs> on your own like I really am the killer. <laughs> huh? But it's already decided, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, Terra Terra just had a stroke. The little woman hasn't been cleared up yet, Chef? No use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer that wear the weapon? Come on, Monami. <laughs> Enough with the whimpering and translate. <laughs> You call me the killer with a whip. You're calling me the killer. <laughs> then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? Yeah, it's not the knife, right? Judging from Jackie's wounds, it was a thin edge. Did Mikan just call him Bakuya? Five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. Oh, did he use the thing After for the, this, the skewers? Who cares about the weapon? Shut up! Okay, Monami. Damn, you're so annoying. About what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said. What a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edge tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters and at least 50 centimeters in length. The weapon that meets those requirements might have been used at the crime scene. Huh? What's that? <laughs> Oh no, another one of these? Come on, bro. Um, um, S K U W E R. Okay, so is it meat skewer? Is that what it is? Hopefully it is. Oh, wait. It was I. Wait, what's. Hold on. What's I? Oh, I. Oh, iron. Oh, okay. Boom. Got it. Give me that. I don't like this hangman's gambit. It's kind of ass. It's like low-key unwiped ass with a few dingleberries. That's it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, uh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. Should have given him the so accent, huh? Missing iron skewer <laughs> the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Uh, oh, 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 he's foaming at the mouth! Oh, it's over for you, baby! Did he say Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne? Huh? Did he really just say that? She kind of looked like Avril Lavigne, Ibuki. He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. <laughs> you probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. That's true. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I guess I they're in Singapore. City, and I never once saw Terra Terra leave the old building. Which means we obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. 
probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh, 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 Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Finally, we are nearing the end. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. All right, let's do it. Whoa. That's impossible. Okay. So this is kind of just like a clicking thing. Oh, 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Get into a rhythm now. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Give me that. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Who am I doing? Who am I doing? Where am I going? Oh. Come on. Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. I'm just clinging shit. I'm just trying to stay on beat as much as I can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He has one more shield. One more shield, baby. Give me some. Give me that. Come on, destroy the freaking shield. Thank you. Where would the weapon be? Uh oh. Uh the meat on the bone. What the heck? Meat on the bone. What? I clicked that. Meat on the bone. This is the end. Thank you. Give me some. Woo! Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? <laughs> yeah, that's really that. impossible. <laughs> I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. It seems there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the Tarasco earlier, inside the pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if you said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that can hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is, the meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty-looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here! Nice, there you go. I'm already eating it! Oh, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. It looks weird seeing him eat it though. What is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the this, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Here we go. Look what came out. Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it mm -hmm. out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. That's actually super clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought very, the very clever, to Teru Teru. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an insane <laughs> defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? you're all nothing but a... Okay, we get him on a You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, 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 never
Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. Oh, is it my favorite part? To do that, we need to go yes! over the entire incident from beginning My favorite part! Let's go! Clear. Go over the entire incident. And then I can prove Terra Terra's crime. That's right. If we don't do that, then we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. Alright, my throb is chesting, so is mine. Let's do this. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so stock one. What is this? The iron's turned on, set at 11.30 p.m. The killer used a mark to move under the floorboards. Nekumaru is holding it in. Big meat on the bone. Okay, um, I'm guessing he's holding it in. That's not it. I guess this info doesn't fit here. I should think about this again. So I only get these five to start, and then I gotta fill them in. Okay, fine. Fine, you wanna do that? Let's do it then. 11.30 p.m. start. That's not it either? Well, this is way harder than having all the choices available for you. I guess meat on the bone fits right here. There you go. And then... What else? Where's Nekumaro holding it in? Okay, the floorboard one should be really easy. Let's see this. He goes under... Sees the mark under the floorboard. That's not it? Okay, got that. Now what? Do these irons right here? Okay. Stock two. Oh, okay. So some of them don't even fit in the panel. And then I have to choose some of the other ones that are correct. Okay, I got it. So let's see. Um, I think this is one of them. Nope, that's not it. Okay, sorry. Let's keep going. Let's see something. The air conditioner is turned on. Okay, that's right. What about over here? I think it's the night vision goggles thing. So, what's this one? Switched on. What's switched on? The ultimate musician has amazing hearing. Okay. I bet she does. So... Um, so, she hears it right there. Thank you. I guess this is switched on. There you go. All right, I kind of got the hang of this. Borrowing a tablecloth. Let me see here. Borrowing a tablecloth? Is it one of them? There you go. Okay. Close the fire door. And then Biakuya reaching for a knife, right? It's over here. Biakuya reaching for the knife. -u. Last stock. Okay. Come on, Jay. Oh, think, 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 think. We could do this. I think. Get the goggles. Right? And then. Nagito goes under the table. And then what else? The Duralum case. Where would that be? Oh, she's waiting outside. Got it! Here's everything that happened Woo! in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident. Beginning with right after the party started. Yakiya had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. <laughs> Pickle taking that shit! Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly kept the power usage. Do Hajime and Teru Teru have the same voice actor? Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. ka -ching! The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, I'm gonna miss Yaku Yaku took out a specific item that he brought in his case. Can't believe he was the first that item victim. Was the night vision goggles? Such a damn shame. Yakia was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, he looks kind of cool with the goggles on. I'm not gonna lie. Making a suspicious move. He 
He saw Nagito guiding himself the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew the blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Okay. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. Okay, so they just started stabbing right where the, the paint was? thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. But it had to have all gone so perfectly, like someone would have to have gone under the table and crawled right there just so he could stab him with the skewer. That's the ridiculous part about all if that. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... Oh! The killer Not my big Akuya! ...stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the Damn moment shame. when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath Wouldn't the floorboards Wouldn't they hear Byakuya screaming though? As he was getting stabbed? I guess. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's right! Got him! I knew it was him from the get-go. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this... It's a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. Good. I didn't want this guy to last too long in the game. All right, first class trial. We beat that like a freaking drum. What did I get? Okay, I got 100, 100, 100, 100, 95, 89, 100, 146, 100, 100, 95, 165, 71? Wait, what? A B? Bro, oh, a B? Wow. Okay, I knew who it was from the very beginning. Got a B. Teste loca. Time for the best part. I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well... Putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Can't wait for the execution. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. What if you don't vote for someone? If you don't vote, oh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. That answers my question. <laughs> Chosen as the blackened, 
Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! Oh, we still got the same voting theme from the first game. I kind of like it when games don't switch up too much from the first game to the second game. That's why with the comic book thing, it kind of threw me off for a little bit because I was like, wait, these are the only five things that I can choose from? Correct! That's right! This time, the black and responsible for killing Biakuya Tagami is Teru Teru Hanamura! No, 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 no! Are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying a ponce like him is the one who killed Biakuya? What? Why? Why did you kill him? It was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then... I heard a weird laughter near the dining hall, and when I peeked over there, I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. Nothing wrong with grinning. So, I questioned him. When, when that happened, happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught? What? Been caught? Hey. What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible. What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see. So that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the Ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you no, no, saying? No, no. I don't understand at all. See? See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means, the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm gonna become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that will overcome any kind of despair. Are you kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious? So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's all right that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. Wait, no you, way, no way. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see? If you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with you me! You better not compare us to that! What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong. And the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it'd look the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you don't mind when Teru Teru discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh? So... 
Nagito wanted to involve us in the killing, plus it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teru Teru? You expect it to pique Teru Teru's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex? Well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Uh -huh. This dude, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane! That's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know. However, But why? Why did you kill Biakui instead? I don't know. Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer there. But why is Biakui the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him! Biakui probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then, in place of Nagito... Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps. Biakui was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Biakui said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide, I will guide you, you all. all. That much I promise. <laughs> Could it be? In order to keep that promise? Mm. As long as he was wearing that night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So Biakui gave his life to protect Nagito, even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Biakui is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet, Such I never expected an ending like this. Such despair! What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. Could it be? You knew Biakui would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be fun for later. Just kidding. How but I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't just want to waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already! Whoa. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Biakui instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? <laughs> Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. But you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great. You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Sacrifice? Shut up. Seriously, Shut stop up. it already. I'm going to go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. Hey, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just kill him off? Yeah. yeah! Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito, it's Teru Teru. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the Blackened Killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. Hold on. No, 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 that no, no, was, no, no, no. How should I put it? An accident. Uh, an act of self defense. Not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murderer is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. But hey. isn't there anything like sympathy judgments, extenuating circumstances, or even probation? Impossible. I don't accept any of those claims. That's, that's not... Hey, hey, save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Why Be honest. You? After learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? You're wrong, I... 
There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <laughs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already. At least, in the end. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna say all that. This dude foaming at the mouth. That is... Teru, Teru. Why? If only you didn't try to kill Nagito, Biyakuyu would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru, Teru. <laughs> I just... I just wanted to go home. I needed, I needed to, to go, go back, back home, home no matter no what. what. Because... She's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope's Peak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. <laughs> when I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees His success accents, for its though. graduates, right? So? I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my Terror best Terror to looking keep like Hanamura Kim Jong Un from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again when I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I know that. Already. Damn. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamuru Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. Well, That's I guess you broke that I need promise. To go home. Teru, Teru. But if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years have passed since our first day. <laughs> What happened to the Hanamuru Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! She was saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong. I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It, it has to be a lie. That's why I, That's why wanted, I wanted to go, go home. home. I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Teru Teru, you! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Damn it! If I only knew how he felt, something like this would never have happened. I. I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. That's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Biakuya instead of Nagito. Ah, uh, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Teru Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting. But, as far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. What? So, it seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow. So let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't. No, you can't. Jeez, get out of my way. Thank you, Monokuma. Ugh. I want to see the punishment too. Well, <laughs> There! Now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business! Wait, hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least... Now then, I prepared, I prepared a special a punishment for Terra Terra Hanamura, the ultimate cook! Hey. Holy chef! No, wait, that's not what I... Please, please, please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura Diner, to Mama! Let's give, let's it, give it everything, everything we've, we've got! got. Okay, it's fine. It's punishment time! Lies! I won't, I won't believe, believe this. this! I won't believe it! Mama! That's the most blood-curdling mom I've ever heard before. But let's get to the execution. <laughs> hey, I'm evil too, guys. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, I'm evil too. I got a heart, but sometimes it beats evilly. So let's see what's happening here. 
This better be good, too, because that was a long-ass trial. Okay, okay. Swerve it through everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is it going to be what I said it was? Cooked in a pan, chopped up, and served with Mondo butter? Imagine. Okay, deep fried. Ooh, ooh he is going to get cooked. What in the hell? Oh, Monokuma got like a 20 kill streak. Call him in the chopper. Bro, are you serious? I could have came up with a better execution than that. Wow. Yo, chop him up and cook him with Mondo butter, bro. Instead, we just land this dude through the ocean. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. All right, here's Lil Stung Stung. Yeah. Oh, nice. He became a tempura. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Okay. It started off kind of whack, the execution. But, you know, he became a deep fried tempura. So, it's pretty cool. Hanamura became a tempura. Extreme! Yahoo! Extreme! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. The adrenaline is rushing through me. <laughs> teru, teru. Damn it! Oh, are you freaking serious? How cruel! Why did you do something so cruel? Why? Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. That's so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice! Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I just can't let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Why didn't you tell Teru Teru about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hey, hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. Huh? You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? what? Not fair. That's not fair. Of course. Of course, I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S That's so not fair. Cruel. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid. Teru, Teru, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, as the <laughs> symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. Why are you smiling? How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate to inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck Don't with me! Don't go saying creepy shit. I'll freaking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? Huh? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're gonna kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. 
If you're students of Hope Speak Academy, if you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Ugh. Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Biakui, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Hey, can I punch ya? I just won't be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just gonna be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling toward Hope's Peak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you! Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do! Wait, hold on! Please stop, stop this at once! Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there is something we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen! We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Huh? Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together to do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez, I don't get you all. Are you some kind of moron? Well... It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So, let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna... Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's do our best for now! Fine. Very well. Even if we're not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend! I won't give up until the very end! I won't die in vain! I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul, and fight to the very end! Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we still continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Damn, that was a long-ass episode. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Biakui and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Huh? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Okay, chapter one, destination, despair, end. So, that was a long ass first trial. If you think about it, it was actually two plus hours long, maybe two and a half hours long, going back to the last episode. 
But yeah, we figured out who it was. Teru Teru, I knew it the entire time. Let's see what happens next. Let's see who the next victim of this Danganronpa game is. 50,000 likes and I will release that episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!